Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would show you a little bit more in Tinkercad. Um, this is just going to be a pretty quick video on how to um, import 2D images and make them 3D objects. This is something that I see a lot of people on forums and stuff asking how to do because um, it's not straightforward at all to do this. And not a lot of people know good ways to do it. Now obviously if you've worked with vector graphics before, um, any program like that will be able to export a .svg um, and that's what, the, that's what um, Tinkercad takes to be able to make its 3D objects. So if you're already experienced in that, you're covered um, and you should know how to do that. If not, and you just have like a normal image, say for example you wanted the Batman logo to print. So you can see this image right here, um, it's a pretty good one. So if we download it, which I've already done, then we can go to this website right here. It's onlineconvert.com and I'll put a link down in the description so you can get to this as well. Um, it's all free, very nice, very easy to use. So you can choose your file here, you can see I've chose Batman logo, um, or you can just enter the URL. And then um, you don't even really need to mess with these settings very much unless you want to. Um, so I'll just upload the file and click convert. And then it'll automatically download it right there. So now we can go back over to Tinkercad with that downloaded. And over on the right side where we have all of our categories, we can click import. So then when you come in here, you can choose the file, and that'll come up, and we'll just pick the Batman logo or Batman logo .svg. Click that, and then, um, you know, they've got some scaling and height options. We're just going to leave those as is right now. It'll probably be really big, but we can always adjust that later. So, import. Okay, and it's telling me that it is going to be way too big. So, let's just go um, 20 and see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's huge. And obviously the size of the image will affect that. So let's just shrink it down, get it over here, and then we will rotate it. So then, as you can see, it does a really good job of converting the image into a 3D object. It's not even pixely or anything. So, I mean, obviously the quality of your image is going to affect this outcome. So try to find the, the highest quality and best image you can. Um, and obviously when you import it, they're all going to be flat like this. It's just going to be a, kind of a protruded object here. But then you can adjust it and things like that. And then say that we wanted to make this an imprint into something. We can move this over here and then we'll just create a little box. Oh, that's huge. And we'll go about like that. Make it eight high. And then we can bring this over here. Bring it up. And then just line it up the best you can. And then I'm going to make this big enough for it. I'm actually going to duplicate this, and you can use Control D to duplicate. I'll bring that back down. Now I can bring this down into this object here. That should do, and then I'll just make it a hole. So now I can take this and group it, and you can see it's now imprinted in there. And so obviously there's a ton of different options you can do with this and you know anything like if you have a logo you want to print out and have a little 3D plaque, um, this is one great way to do that. So now we can take these and let's just download for 3D printing. And I'll just take the selected shapes. And so now that we've downloaded those files, we can go into our favorite um, 3D slicer and I, I'm using Matter Controller right here because that's what came with my Robo 3D. So then I will just click print and you can see it brings in these files right here. Generate it and then we can step through and see what they're going to do. Now 
And as you can see, those would turn out really nice. Okay guys, well, there you have it. Um, a pretty easy solution to taking a 2D image file and turning it into a 3D object that you can either print or turn into a plaque or engrave into anything. So this is pretty handy and something that I've used a lot. So I hope you guys find this useful. That's it for me. See you next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chaos Cortec. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.